What's up, guys? Welcome back. I'm your host, Chris Closes Your Deal with Real Estate Investing Made Easy and Lazarus Property Group. And in this video, we're going to dive into the Quick Offer Deal Analyzer. Now, this is a more comprehensive deal analyzer than our soft comp underwriting tool. Uh, but first, I just want to thank you guys for supporting the channel. Hit that like button, hit the notification bell. And if you're not subscribed, you definitely want to do that right now. Stay tuned. Want to see comments below in the comments section, letting us know about any things that you would love to see added to this tool and any other tools that we're putting out. But I'm going to just go through and walk you through the process on how we use this tool. Now, to just give you a little bit more context, this is like our sniper rifle, the soft comp underwriting tool, which was in the previous video, that is like our shotgun, right? The goal is blast out as many offers as possible, right? Top of the funnel, we're going to get responses from realtors that are reasonably positive and open to negotiate. And then at that point, we're going to go through fully underwriting the deal to make sure we have a legit offer and it's really dialed in. And so this is our sniper rifle. So we're going to go ahead and walk you through this process and just make sure you know how to properly use this tool. The great thing, we've done all of the heavy lifting for you. So there's a lot of like little cool features in here that I think you guys are really going to like to make your process a lot easier. So let's just go ahead and dive right in. You'll notice there's really three main columns here, okay? So the sections where you're really going to be doing the work is going to be in the buy price calculator and then the repair estimate. The third column, there's two sections. You got the legend. This just tells you what you're not going to edit and what you might edit. Anything that is this light yellow tan color, those are the things that you're going to be editing on each and every deal that you're underwriting. The gray, you're not going to edit at all. And then the blue, you're going to edit this really one time per market. So now if you're doing deals in multiple different markets, you can either switch this, you know, every time you're switching markets, or you can just make a couple copies and have it pre set up for that specific market. So let me just walk you through what that looks like. We're going to do a little bit of front end work here to get it set up. So the first thing I would encourage you probably never switch this. I'm going to leave this $1.50 here per square foot for no rehab, because as much as a property that doesn't need rehab isn't really going to cost you much, there's still going to be basic like cleanup costs and things of that sort, right? Now, there's also notes on every single one of these that kind of explain the differences at each stage. So I'm not going to go through that. You can look at that on your own, but this is just going to kind of walk you through. Now, these numbers that I'm going to come up with, they're, you know, we're not giving you real numbers. We're just going to plug in numbers here so you can kind of see how it works. Okay. So no rehab is going to be $1.50 a square foot. Light rehab might be $20 a square foot in your market. Moderate rehab might be $30 a square foot. Maybe a full rehab is $45 a square foot. Full gut rehab might might be $65 a square foot and a scrape and build might be $200 a square foot. Once you've plugged those numbers in, now the tool is ready to be used. Once you're going to go in and analyze, there's a couple things that you really need to put in. Really, there's only four different things that you'll need to edit over here and then one toggle and then you've got your line item considerations here that you might want to look at. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the square footage of the property. So let's say it's a 1500 square foot property and first let me just delete this. Let's say it's a 1500 square foot property. Let's say you can use this whether you're wholesaling or whether you're actually fix and flipping. If you are Either way, whatever you're doing, you're going to want to have your buyer ARV percentage. So this is the percentage off of ARV that either you're buying at or your buyers are buying at if you're wholesaling. And so we put every number in here so you can adjust it the way you want. But let's say your buyers are buying at 75% of ARV. And let's say you ran numbers and the comps that you found support a $450,000 ARV. Now, if I just simply put those numbers in, you'll notice it's not going to kick out any data. And we're probably going to adjust these formulas just so that way it doesn't show anything. It doesn't show NA at all or show any type of error. It'll just display blank cells. But the next thing we're going to do is let's just assume we're wholesaling and let's say we want to get a $10,000 wholesale fee. So now I have those things in here. The problem is what it's not considering is the rehab cost because we have no rehab cost over here. It's NA, right? 
in the future, once we make these edits to these cells, it's gonna show up as zero. So it will spit out numbers even if you don't put a repair cost in here. But let's just start with this drop down. So we can select any one of these rehab sections. And if we go no rehab, it's gonna automatically take 1500 square feet times $1.50 per square foot. And that's gonna give you a 2250 for basically like your cleanup costs, right? You're gonna have some level of costs there. And again, that number might be different for your market. Now what it's gonna do is it's gonna take that 450, it's gonna take the 75% of ARV, it's gonna minus out the repair costs and it's gonna give you that dispo price. Now, if you're the fix and flipper, that's gonna be your price. That's where you can buy it at. If you're a wholesaler and you're looking to get a wholesale fee of $10,000, then really what your max offer is going to be is this 325 number here so that builds in your ten thousand dollar assignment fee and then what we've gone ahead and done for you because obviously you don't want to start the conversation at your max offer what we've done is we've added two additional cells here where it's going to give you your initial suggested offer and then your first counter offer so that way you have three tiers of offers right you know your max offer number where you might want to start and then where you're going to kind of fall in the middle, right? And so these are just suggestions. You can obviously negotiate however you want. Obviously, it's going to depend on the conversation, what they're telling you, asking lots of questions. And, you know, we can dive more into the sales and negotiation components of it, you know, in some of our other training series where, you know, we do a deep dive into how we negotiate sales and how we have those conversations. And if you, you know, haven't seen any of those, then definitely check around in the playlist. We have playlists list on all of our different sales calls and things like that. So you guys can watch and learn from that. But yeah, this is just going to be giving you suggestions. Now, let's say it's also going to show you what the percentage. So obviously, we already selected 75%. If we go ahead and we change this to like San Diego, 82% is what most of our buyers are buying at, it'll adjust the number if we want to come down to, you know, 65%, it's going to adjust all the numbers accordingly, right? It'll also tell you that $10,000 wholesale fee fee what percentage of the actual dispo price is that it'll also tell you what percentage of arv your max offer is your initial offer and your counter offer so this will be really helpful for you guys as you're going out there making a lot of offers what you should be doing with your buyers is tracking all the deals that you're getting and then with the buyers all the deals that you're actually selling and you should start to see a trend like for example in over the three years that we've been investing here in san diego me personally but you know between my business partner and i since 2008 2009 all of the offers what we found is that generally we're hitting about 82 percent of arv is what our buyers are actually willing to buy the deals from us at and so that helps us when we identify an arv we can say okay well we know that we can dis Dispo it at 82% of ARV. So anything we get it below that is going to be our assignment fee. And so for you guys, whether you're opening up a new market or you're a newer investor, you want to start tracking these things so you can get an idea what your buyers are actually buying at. And then you can adjust your numbers accordingly so you can pack in a little bit more profit for yourself or just understand exactly where you need to be at for your offer. So that's the buy price calculator. Now let's go ahead and make adjustments to the rehab, the repair estimate, right? We can go ahead and toggle this to a moderate rehab and it's going to adjust all the numbers accordingly. Now, again, these rehab costs outside of full gut rehab and scrape and build, full rehab is going to include a full kitchen and bathroom renovation. It'll include everything up to doors, garage doors, demo, clean out, and everything that is included in a moderate and a light rehab. Now, there's certain considerations, what we consider line items or major considerations, and there's seven different considerations that may or may not be part of your property, right? Like, for example, your property might not have a pool so you know that's not going to really affect you if there's other
other things that you want to consider, you can change these to different things, right? These are optional, but we just put in what we typically see and you're just going to line item these things. So, you know, on a 1500 square foot property, you know, maybe a roof costs you $10,000 and notice all of the numbers will adjust accordingly. If you've got windows to do and maybe it's $5,500, it's going to add that in. Maybe there is a pool and, you know, it's a $50,000, like it needs to be completely torn out and redone, you know, top to bottom, or maybe you're looking at it and you're finding that, hey, in order for it to hit a ARV of 450, it has to have a pool and it doesn't. And literally every other property in the market has a pool. And if it doesn't have a pool, it's like a hundred thousand dollars lower. Like that might be the difference between this being a deal and not being a deal. And you might want to include that in there to figure out, hey, what's it going to come out to? Foundation repair, you can put that in. Or like I said, you can just change this line item to something else. There's something else that you want to include here. Now, what you could also do is is there's a lot of flexibility here, right? Like these major considerations, like this is just like your, your general rehab costs, right? Let's say you wanted to make an offer on a property where, you know, hey, it only needs paint cleanup, but it also needs just a kitchen right? Like you want to redo the whole kitchen and that's it. Nothing else needs to be done. Maybe somebody came in, did a renovation, they did everything else. And the last thing that they didn't touch at all was the kitchen and you need to do a full kitchen remodel. You can just come in here in any one of these lines and line item it and say, okay, well, it's going to cost $30,000 to do this kitchen. And you just change this to kitchen and that's it. Hopefully you guys got value out of this and uh, stay tuned for more videos in this training series where you can learn about how we're making offers on on-market properties at a really high level, very consistently. Appreciate you guys for staying tuned and supporting the channel. Hit the like button, hit the notification bell and subscribe. And again, put your comments below for things that you'd like to see improved on this system and any questions that you guys have. Again, I'm Chris Close Your Deal with Real Estate Investing Made Easy. Appreciate you guys.